How's it going guys? And welcome to RC Cincy. Today is gonna to be the first video that I switched to 4K 60. I figure why not I have an iPhone uh, Pro 13. And to be honest with you, I've been having issues recording 1080p. I don't know why, I will look into that. I tried with a bunch of settings. But without further ado, I think this is gonna be higher quality. You can watch it in lower quality as well. So I figure why not if I have the capabilities so this right here is the TRX4 truck that I've had for just uh, close to two weeks now. And I've literally rock crawled for like a week straight in the mornings at work. Uh, this little guy is impressive. Uh, out of the box, everything right now. Uh, I'm running a 2S LiPo battery, 5200 milliamps, 70C. So it does have a little punch if you need it. Obviously, you can run 3S in it. Uh, but I chose to do 2S for now because uh, that's typically I think most folks will run 2S being a brushed setup it can handle it but I figure why not start at the lower uh, side of it probably your lowest uh, case results and then seeing how big of a difference it is to run a 3S we'll do a whole video on that uh, and trying out different batteries and relocations and tons of other battery mods. So stay tuned for that. And my battery 3S that I have now is 7,200 milliamps. So I won't be able to use the battery tray. I'll have to use a strap. And it's going to be very, very large and very, very heavy. So it could be to work against it. It may help it. We'll have to see in a later video. And the uh, let's start out from the top. Uh, the body, I have rolled this at least five or six times minimum. And obviously it's gonna scratch, but a lot of it wiped off for the most part. Like, let me give me an example. A lot of it will wipe off for the most part with a rag, kind of get the white off of it from the dust and stuff. There's gonna be scratches, obviously you cannot. You can see some scratches there. Scratches kind of everywhere because it literally rolled pretty rough down that hill. Um, you know, I just wanted to put it through its paces so it wasn't easy on it at all. Uh, the body is a solid, very strong body. Uh, much better quality than the base camp. I saw a base camp before in person, and it feels like this body is better, not by much. I think this body is better looking than the base camp. The base camp is a very basic body. So is this by crawling uh, scale standards. But I think out of the two, this would be the better body in my opinion. Um, but it's holding up. It does have some wear on it, which to be expected. You're really enjoying yourself. Um, obviously, you are going to have to provide your own battery, which I did, and your own charger. In my case, I provided also an adapter. Uh, I don't have problem with Traxxas batteries, but you can't use them for other stuff unless you have another adapter. So I figure, why not use the batteries I have? Just buy a little $7 ad adapter from the hobby shop. Amazon sells them as well. I like the ones with no wires. Nice, uh, snug, tight fit. No movement, solid. Uh, not very much resistance. If you do cut and change this, just be know that you're going to void your warranty. So if later your electronics fail, your motor fails, well, guess what? You're not going to get anything because you've cut this off. And trust me, they'll know no matter how good you are trying to solder this back, they will know you cut this. Um, and then uh, the platform is outstanding out of the box. I think this is a gold standard for a rock crawling rig. If you can achieve what this achieved, you're... Uh, you're gonna be blown away. In my opinion, I saw a TRX4 outperform other um, Traxxas rigs out of the box. Like ones that are heavily modified, like the Bronco or whichever version you get. It seems like all that flashy stuff on them, it just really doesn't need it. This is a very good competition truck. Uh, just literally get a battery and just go rip it. Uh, it is incredible. So the suspension is handled absolutely amazing plenty of travel no leaks all the fluid seems to be about the same level nice transition between both of them fully adjustable all metal i think they're about 90 mils so i was impressed with that the chassis is a little bit thicker than the original um axials i think some of the axials are like two mil or something like that this is like a three mil so compared to axial or base camp or any of the axial most of them i'm, I'm not sure about the base camp but i know axial three or whatever uh you can take the axial and you can literally twist it this is the bumpers are just twisting by the way if you grab it from the frame and try to do that look at that much much more rigid 
much better performance a lot <laughs> you can tell how solid this frame is axial just has you can literally twist it i watch people twist it uh so there is that you're also getting these side steps or rails right here that the axial does not have this protects the body and it kind of locks it in place through these little notches in here so i do like that they can get hung up on stuff um but there is quite a bit of clearance uh, but this way you're not destroying tearing up your body they have their perk they have their do's and don'ts um as far as the bumpers themselves go uh there are adjustable in and out obviously a lot of people will tuck them um or cut them or trim them that's perfectly fine same thing with the body i know a lot of folks that trim bodies that is preference and how you want to set it up and then a lot of folks will also adjust the springs from the out of the box settings probably make the front end a, a lot stiffer and then make the rear end a lot lower to the ground which makes sense um what else the chassis is solid the electronics are good for ready to run one of the best in my opinion uh what i like about this particular motor right here this is a 550 so you're getting a much bigger can that's going to produce more power and torque it is a 21 turn but it's the 550 is what really gives it an edge they put this motor in a lot bigger vehicles so you in the bigger crawlers that you can buy from them so you're getting tons of power and performance you really don't need to upgrade this i thought so looking at a 21 turn but then i didn't realize that it was a, i thought it was a 540 it's a 550 and the axial you do get a i think a 35 or 45 540 so you get a much smaller cam i don't think it has as much power as this one so i think this is a better motor as far as escs go these are standard esc this one's cool because you can flip through the settings you would just press turn on and then press and hold the cycle huh? oh it's not connected uh, but let me show you how you quickly cycle through it i'm going to quickly show you this plug this bad boy in make sure even you buy an adapter always check that it's positive to positive they can't get the adapters wrong it is possible you just press and let go is how you turn on but you press and, and let go turn off press and let go turn on and keep holding it you'll see one red light that's mode one then you'll see one that's mode one one two that's mode two, one, two, three. That's mode three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then one beep. So it has a total of five modes. Let me turn this off, five modes. Uh, the crawler mode is mode five, 100% drag brake. Mode two, I think is 50% drag brake and kind of a rock, kind of a crawler basher. But I would go to mode five. This will give you 100% uh, drag bake, so you're not moving at all as you're climbing. Uh, that makes a huge difference. Nice beefy little cooler on here. Make sure you get a good shot of that. Nice beefy cooler. It does have a power plug, which you can technically run. You can run a splitter, so you can run lights. So you don't have to put them on a switch because technically this, I do believe, is a two-channel two, two radio. Uh, you can also run fan, plug a fan in right here to cool it. Angle, you can get a twin set where you have one on here and the other one kind of angled up blowing towards the motor. You can set it up that way. Some folks even use a splitter, put one fan on here and then a metal heat sink and then another fan. You can do that. 3S in summertime can get warm, especially if you're bashing it, not crawling. Uh, keep that in mind, 3S. You may require that. Uh, 2S, nah. It's, it's going to get warm, but not warm enough to, I do believe, not to cause any issues unless you have something getting caught or some issues with the powertrain. Um, and then looking at the uh, tires, um, these are one of the better tires you get. These are the Canyon Trails, I do believe, 1.9s. So they have uh, a single stage foam in there. Really nice foam, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, the only thing is they kind of need to break in a little bit. Uh, which is fine. They're starting to get there. Um, you, do, you are going to need a little bit of crawling action to do that. So I highly recommend breaking these in. The uh, receiver box is waterproof. Um, and the receiver goes in there. You can upgrade a different receiver in there. You do have a nice plug you can pop out. See if it's lighting up or any issues like that. It does have these little um, hooks where you can run wire. So I do appreciate that. Makes it look a lot cleaner. Same thing with the motor wires right there. You kind of see that. Let me show you that. Um, what else? The servo is a Spectrum. I can't remember if it's a Spectrum. No, it's a Traxxas metal 
Servo, I think it's 125 to 130 was what they rated at between 125 and 130. Uh, honestly, I would go more towards like a 200 on the rig like this, maybe even higher. Um, I do like the location. It's not going to hit anything where it's at on the front. I do like the location, so I think that's a good spot for it. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, your angle, your steering angle is 45 degrees, which is extremely impressive. Um, like... A Gen 7 didn't get that much, and then Gen 8 advertises 47, and you're not getting 47, so I kind of shame on them for that one. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, really, really beefo, beefy turnbuckles and everything. is really wide and really beefy. Uh, this is all metal right here. The linkages are all metal. These underneath are all metal, all linkages, so I can appreciate that. Obviously, portal access, so you're getting that ground clearance right there. You can see them. Uh, the gears in there are metal, and it helps with the torque and everything. Uh, so all metal there, metal discs, uh, metal transmission, single speed, a really solid transmission, extremely smooth powertrain, one of the smoothest powertrains out there. Traxxas just uses good metal gears, very rigid, very strong, and good fluid. That is key. Like a lot of the Gen 7s and Gen 8s will have uneven amounts of fluid in the shocks and also not have some gears that don't even have fluids is why some of them are so loud. So keep that in mind. That's something you have to do with Traxxas. It can happen, but very unlikely. I've never had a Traxxas vehicle. Me or any of my buddies that ever have any issues. I had Nitro T-Maxes. I've had on-road vehicles. I had a boat, a drone, uh, what else? Uh, tons of other stuff. And it's always had fluid and it's always been good quality parts availability is like not other no other company you will walk in any other hobby shop to have as many parts as this one uh the linkages are nice and beefy everything is solid and beefy this right here is plastic but these couplers maybe plastic or metal but you can see the shaft in the middle is metal kind of a weird design but it's solid little skid plate there skid plates there uh, you can see the battery tray there. They do have tons of stuff, uh, extras for it. And I can get into that video, but they do have relocation battery trays. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. $160 bodies with all the detailed stuff on there. They got clear ones. They have two speeds. They have different motors, brushless units. They have, I mean, I could just go on and I'm not going to spend that much time doing that. Uh, not in this video, at least. Uh, you get li little links on the bumpers, which I can appreciate to pull yourself out. I do recommend putting a little wrench on here. I think that's cool. Uh, not sure what this button does. I think it's more of a bind plug and possibly selecting something. This is technically a two channel. You just get the steering adjustability. Uh, it's hard to drive in one hand for my short stubby fingers. See that? So I have, do have to use two hands, which I have to like also put kind of like a selfie stick thing in my hand, kind of hold it and I film it that way. So it is a lot easier to have someone with you. Uh, four AA batteries you're gonna have to provide, obviously a charger and a battery and the adapter, which I highly recommend. Uh, the range is good. The performance is smooth and uh, you can be plenty smooth with it. Uh, fairly quiet. Um, what else? Obviously all nice ball bearings, all nice smooth. Uh, do, 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 do. And that really covers majority of it. So it articulates well crazy part is it could be in a really crazy articulation like this and you're going to get nice smooth consistent power all of it obviously all the discs are locked uh it, it just really really impressed me out of the box i was climbing some crazy stuff um uh, i think this is the best tracks performer out of the box i can tell you that right now because the other stuff had all that other fancy stuff on there for competition this is the guy right here uh you know folks will do a better body that's fine Folks, you know, we'll change, move the battery to the front, get a smaller battery, obviously, move it to the front, adjust the shocks, maybe do a little trimming, possibly run it on 3S, and <laughs> there's it's going to be hard to beat this thing. This is, in my opinion, the gold standard out-of-the-box crawling, uh, 369. Obviously, the base camp is 390, so the base camp is more expensive. Uh, I would love to get one and compare it side-by-side. Side. I do have an axial truck. For one of my buddies coming to compare it against uh that one's mostly stock he has one that's completely custom but i think it's an actual three or something like that so i think it's a fair comparison the price of that one i can't remember i'll look it up and try to make it as fair as possible i'll try to use i have another one of these batteries so i'll use the same power delivery um i think that one has the rtr transmitter 
So he does have that, um, he can bring it in and then I can crawl, kind of crawl with both of them, do the same lane, same gate. That way it's a nice, fair comparison. Uh, what else? Uh, the seven days have been just a lot of fun. Uh, I, I liked crawling. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was something different. Uh, I typically do construction or flying or drones or boats or something. And I've had crawlers technically. I featured a couple small ones and I've had a roller and other ones I've built as well. So I had plenty sizes. I've had a couple of 110 scales. I had smaller ones. I really like the one smaller ones. The, I think the SX, uh, SSC 24, whatever the smaller crawlers, I would love to, uh, get one of those. So really it, it's just a whole world. I know they have the bigger ones. Those are incredible as well. A lot of folks are trying to do the bigger ones. So there's a lot to it guys. So I just wanted to cover everything. Just really, really impressive out of the door. Really, really beastly of a truck. Um, so far I want to have more time with it, but so far I've hit, uh, the approach angle is 58 degrees. Like they say, the steering is like they say 45 degrees. You know, the portal axles are smooth. The powertrain is smooth. Plenty of power delivery, plenty of motor. Um, people say these crap out, but honestly, it's enough power for it, just enough. In competition, you may need more, so it's not a bad idea to upgrade that. Some people even do brushless. Uh, 3S, probably. Highly recommend that. So I just wanted to kind of give you uh, a one-week kind of overview in my experience with it obviously i'm gonna do like a three month six month and then i'll do verses i'll do modifications i'll do adjustments and setups for you guys for different uh rock crawling situations and we'll go over that and like how to get better at it i've been doing a lot of research talking to a lot of buddy of mine watching them crawl i've just been really putting in the work to get you guys as much information uh this weighs 6.4 pounds i do believe the Axial 3 that I'm comparing to, I think it weighs like 5.7. A lot of folks will put a lot of weights on them. It just depends where you put them. If you need them, it just every scenario, every trail, everything is different. Especially if they pick a different line. I mean, there's just so many variables. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was truly, truly impressed with this. So that's kind of my overview. Really impressed. Love it. Uh, I would love to feature another truck against it, which hopefully will happen soon. Um... I don't feel like I need 3S power right now. It's just doing so good and it's gripping and performing just absolutely incredible. So uh, thumbs up so far, not quite the recommendation yet. Honestly, for all the other videos, everyone recommends it. So I probably will end up, but for now, I just wanna spend a little more time with it. Kind of beat on it and crawl the rocks harder and see if any of the gears or anything fails on me. Uh, I don't think it will and see if the, sh the steering servo will fail on me. So time will tell. I will try to keep it stock as long as I can just to put it through its paces. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all your kind comments. Um, for my dog, you know, he, uh, got, we had to end up putting him to sleep Sunday. I did a little video just kind of explaining it. I just really, really miss that guy. And thank you for all your uh, love and support. That's why, you know, I kind of explain why I haven't done so many videos, but I am back. I'm going to try to focus on getting videos done for you guys. Let me know, you know, if I have the 3D printer, I can do an airplane, a boat, a helicopter, a hovercrafts. We can just, the world is our oyster. I could 3D print scale stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I mean, it's literally endless. So stay tuned for all that. Tons of stuff to come, modifications, setups, you name it. It's going to be on here. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.